Jacqueline Wang. I'm the Gail E. Kendall Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at MIT. And my lab is called the Device Research Lab, where we focus on heat transfer processes from the nano to the macro scale. So we work on uh, various types of solar thermal type power generation devices, one of which is called a solar thermal photovoltaic. And the idea here is to take advantage of the entire spectrum of the sun to harness thermal energy to electricity. And typically what's done now is using what they call a photovoltaic or a solar photovoltaic. And the idea here is that you can take advantage of only a partial spectrum of the sun that's above a certain amount of energy. And that's what gets converted to electricity. The idea here with a solar thermal photovoltaic is, like I said, you take advantage of the entire spectrum in the form of heat, then to now target thermal emission processes at high temperatures such that you can reach the energy levels necessary in the photovoltaic cell to generate, generate electricity efficiently. So that's what we've been working on, is being able to now develop solar thermal photovoltaic devices that can kind of reach the efficiency levels that are theoretically possible. All right, so this process happens at very high temperatures. And so the key is being able to, to determine how to best tailor the solar spectrum. And so one way we do that is taking advantage of what we call photonic crystals. And this is a way such that you can create structural components at the micron nano scale level. And this is in collaboration with our uh, colleagues in the Department of Physics, uh, Marin Solacek, its group, and he helps us now tailor the design of these photonic crystals in a way such that we can target the spectral characteristics such that they're favorable for this type of solar thermal photovoltaic energy conversion. And so one of the ways that we um, want to kind of tailor the spectrum is to indeed minimize emissive losses. Because this process happens at such high temperatures, the radiative losses can be significant. So in this way, if we can tailor the spectrum in a, a, in a kind of with these photonic crystal devices, then we can try to now minimize and mitigate a lot of the losses associated with, say, photons that are below the what they call the band gap of the photovoltaic cell. And that is what leads to heat generation, right? And so um, in that way, in the way we kind of create the devices or design the devices, we can really um, now create a spectral, have spectral control such that we can get the highest efficiencies possible. Of course, this is not without other losses in the system because when you create these devices, um, you have other uh, conduction type losses because you have to kind of suspend these kinds of devices and you have to also create it in a vacuum to minimize other convective losses as well.